Hi, we're here today with Dr. Anil Kumar, who's one of the early champions of stasis and a key opinion leader in the patient monitoring space. Dr. Anil Kumar is the professor and head of medicine at MS Ramya Medical College. And we're here today to understand his experience and gain some insights of how stasis has been useful for his practice today. Thank you, Dr. Anil, for being here Hi. with us. Hi. Hi, Dr. Dr. Yeah. Um, just to start off, where have you implemented stasis in your hospital, sir? Uh, this uh, stasis, the first time I came to know about it was about uh, 60 days back. Okay. Uh, when the administrator told me that uh, he has brought in uh, a few monitors, I was very skeptical at that time. I thought maybe it's one of those routine monitors. But the uh, main attraction in that was, uh, I was told that there is an app which you can download and you can assess the patient details from remote locations. That made me uh, excited. I'm proud to say that uh, our patient care has improved a lot. Where, yep. where specifically have you implemented the system? Uh, we have a 10 bed uh, high dependency ward. It's a sort of uh, ICU, except uh, ventilator, rest all the intensive care uh, measures are carried out here. Okay. So it has been quite helpful. And I think it will be very useful in most of the words. Okay. Most so, of the so, so what is the typical profile of a patient in the high dependency unit that you see today? Yeah, you, we have certain parameters to admit uh, patients to medical intensive care unit, okay. the real intensive care unit. But there are no parameters as such to admit patients to wards. Yeah. So at, uh, at the time of admitting patients, Many a times we are doubtful because patient has just uh, freshly walked in. The hemodynamic parameters at that time are quite unstable, not but not very unstable yeah. as to put the patient on a ventilator or something. Sure. So those kind of patients are kept here. Okay. So we keep them for 24 to 48 hours and if there are no serious issues, we ship them to ward or if they deteriorate, we put them to IC. Okay. So how exactly has stasis helped in making that clinical decision? Uh, in, we have a experience of about 162 patients yeah. as of that. Out of that, 13 have been shifted to MICU. Okay. Out of that, 8 of them, uh, we have detected tachycardia. Okay. Because our doctors are quite busy. Yeah. They take care of the whole hospital. So they are in the casualty, they are in the ward. Many a times they see OPD patients. So the signals uh, that uh, when the heart rate exceeds a certain yeah. limit, that yeah. signal makes them aware that something is going wrong. So eight of the patients were able to shift to MICU and they turned out to be septicemias where we have escalated the antibiotics. One dramatic case is we detected a case of complete heart block at one o'clock in the night. Our resident, Dr. Sharda, she was at home actually, okay. and she picked up that complete heart block and luckily the patient is doing well, okay. he had a pacing and uh, he's doing quite well. So, uh, so from your experiences, how do you think the Stasis app has helped you in your routine practice? Uh, it has made our jobs easier, made our patient monitoring more rational, more scientific. Uh, because these cases, uh, there, there was an epidemic of dengue, still it's going on. Most of these dengue patients have bradycardia. So, so the heart rate is around 30, 40. But most of them don't develop any heart blocks or complications. Uh, if there was no stasis, the same patients would have been in intensive care unit and probably would have spent a minimum of not more than two to three times the amount they have spent. Sure. It gives us confidence. They are here. Yeah. Okay. Suppose they develop a block or something. Anytime we, we are able to detect it. Yeah. Right, where the resident may be in the ward or he may be in the casualty, but still he gets the message. So that g gave us confidence. About 50, 60 patients we have managed just here. Okay. So otherwise they would have required uh, ICU. So from a patient perspective, what do you see the benefits of? Uh, they are being uh, monitored yeah. it's almost like sitting by the side of the patient 
at the comfort of your place that's the greatest uh, advantage uh, and uh, appropriate action can be taken uh, time is of essence for many medical emergencies sure. in terms of internal medicine what are the other kinds of patients that would find benefit with the stasis system i think stasis will be useful for uh, patients uh, copd patients core permanent patients so whether to give them long term uh, home oxygen therapy i think that's one area geriatric patients uh, elderly patients where there is lot of hemodynamic fluctuations and uh, it is in between the ward to icu so any new patients i think should be under stasis okay Because so almost the, almost as a triaging system yeah 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 you it's, keep them it, under observation for yeah. those those yeah. patients who you're not it's sure real observation yeah so you mentioned that you were skeptical initially about using the monitoring system what really changed most of them are addicted to their smartphones now sure. <laughs> so it's like giving them what they want Yes. Yeah. So, so, so the ability to yeah, access these vitals yeah, remotely yeah. was remotely. That is the key issue. Okay, great. That is the what to say the vital thing. It's sort of uh, amazing. So, so you can do a virtual yeah, yeah. round of your yeah, patients. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's amazing. Really, it's very good. I don't know why nobody thought of it before. <laughs> <laughs> that's a that's a real compliment to us. Yeah, no, no, it's, it's really good. Great. Really glad to hear that the stasis system has improved your. clinical practice and help you manage your patients better sure thank you so much Thank for you. being here today sir thank you